Hello everyone, Etta here. I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, I got my box from Sensi. Don't feel like opening it right now. It's actually from uh, a party that I closed. And in that order, I have a, I, I got the set of, um, was it dish soap and counter clean in the, um, what was it called? Evergreen. Oh my goodness, I can't think of the name. Evergreen and something. Um, let me look it up. It is from the holiday collection. And it is called Evergreen and Grapefruit. Okay, I got that collection. And when I was thinking about it being in there, it reminded me of something. It reminded me of, it used to be in the catalog, the scent. and. I had done a tag about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago. It was pretty fresh when I started doing YouTube videos. I probably had maybe, maybe 50 subscribers at the time. Um, so I think most of the people that I tagged, probably I wasn't even on their radar. They never saw the video. So the, the tag never, never went anywhere. But I thought, you know what? Not that I have a million subscribers or anything, but um, I think maybe some people might be interested in participating in this tag with me. I'm hoping so. So um, I'm not gonna name people at the end. I am basically opening it up to all Sensi consultants or any anybody who likes Sensi, right? Who participates in purchasing Sensi because you don't necessarily have to be a consultant to answer most of these questions. But um, I thought it'd be fun. And for those of you who don't have YouTube videos that you create, um, you could still participate by leaving comments as to your answers to some of the questions, if not all of them. Um, I, I'm always interested in knowing what you think. So let's have a little fun. I would have done it like a chop and chat kind of thing. But for me, most of what I chop is vendor um, wax. I, I don't chop my Scentsy. Um, I don't even like to chop my uh, bricks. I When I'm ready to use a cube, I'll cut it into however many pieces I may want to cut it into and, and do it right then and there. So I, I don't have anything necessarily I want to chop to talk about Scentsy stuff. So I'm going to jump into the questions and let's have a little fun. So the first question that I have, and this is uh, getting to know me and my thoughts on Sensi. So the first question is, what began my journey with using Sensi? And actually, my journey began with my husband. Um, he's actually the one that got me started on Sensi. In I believe it was in 2018, probably early in the year, he went to a golf tournament. Um, with some friends and they participated in the golf tournament and while he was there probably like in many of those kind of tournaments and things they have you know uh, things that you can bid on things that you can buy that kind of stuff well a consultant must have um, given right um, charitable cause kind of thing had put up a basket and it had some Scentsy wax in it. Um, I think it had the etched core warmer in it. It had a Walmart, uh, a Walmart diffuser. I think it had a Walmart warmer. Um, I think all of the wax though was Scentsy wax, but it wasn't all Scentsy in there, but the majority let's say was. So he bid on that basket and he won it and he came home that evening and he said you know look at what I um look at what I got you know I, I put a bid in and I won and I got it for you so that was my first delve into Sensi was what my husband won for me at a golf tournament um so the next question is when did that journey begin and I basically kind of gave that answer in my first um answer which was in 2018 when he came home with that basket of Sensi items which I started to use a little bit but um like I used some of it and I think when I looked up Sensi I kind of at that time I kind of felt like oh I don't know that I want to 
spend that on the wax. So probably like most people, I went to Walmart and bought some Walmart wax after that. And my next question, number three, says, when did I become a consultant? I became a consultant in 2019. Um, I joined when they had one of those $15 join specials, so it would have been on May 1st. I joined May 1st, 2019. And the reason I joined, um, probably like many of you, was basically to get the discount for myself because by that point I was warming more and more because like I said I got the wax that my husband won plugged in warmers you know the warmers that I the, I think it was two that were in the basket one was Scentsy one was not and I started off with that and I warmed um, some of the Scentsy wax and then I said oh let me go to Walmart and get some other wax because they weren't all necessarily my favorite scents. Um, so I went to Walmart, picked up some wax there, picked up another warmer from Walmart, started warming the wax. And I kind of like put some of the Scentsy wax to the side after I warmed a few of them. Like I said, they weren't all necessarily my favorite scents. So I started doing more of the Walmart wax. And what I noticed was that I was having the hardest time getting the wax out after a couple of uses of the Walmart wax. It was horrendous trying to get it out. I would spend 15 minutes trying to pry it out. And at that point, you know, I was pretty new, so I didn't know the hot, basically just hot pouring, which even if I had, I don't know that that would have been for me at the time. Um, it seemed messier because like I had a warmer upstairs. Where was I going to pour it out? I, I, it just didn't work for me. So I generally would turn off the warmers, let the wax harden, and then I would get it out. Now, when I use Scentsy Wax, if I let it harden in the dish, this is all I need to get it out, a popsicle stick. And I can get a pack of popsicle sticks for just over a dollar, basically, at Walmart. And if it gets funky and, you know, don't like it anymore, it's, maybe it's got a lot of wax residue on it or something, just throw it away and grab another one. Well... I tried that with the Walmart wax. I broke a few of the popsicle sticks and I would spend easily 10 to 15 minutes sometimes getting it out and have a lot of residue and oh, I was like, okay, I'm going back to I'm going back to Sensi and that's when I started purchasing Sensi online and truly enjoyed it. Again, this was a lifesaver at the time. Um, truly enjoyed it enjoyed the scents that I was purchasing because I was purchasing scents that were more up my alley. So by the time April of 2019 came around, I was really thinking about it. I was contemplating and I kept thinking, oh, I don't, I don't necessarily want to sell to people. Like I just, you know, I just want it for me. And the person above me basically who, you know, had me join told me that you don't have to like you could just use the discount for yourself and you know if you sell great if you don't well you know no no big deal so I finally bit the bullet in May and said okay I'm gonna do this so that's where I started and so let me go on to the next question um, I have a series of 12 questions and then followed by another section with five things so the next question is am I a seasonal or mood melter I would say that it's probably 80% seasonal, 20% mood melter. Um, I generally will melt things that are part of the season. Um, like I, today in, in this room, I have in the warmers, I have pumpkin chai and in my diffuser, I have one of the oils from the Perfectly Pumpkin, which, oh, I don't even know. This was 2020. I think it was 2020. Um, I am doing pumpkin cinnamon latte. So I have that in the diffuser. Now, I, I generally, generally would not do this 
in March or April or June or anything like that. This to me, this is a definitive kind of seasonal kind of scent for me. Um, but there are other scents that I don't know. Maybe you would tend to think. Although I think, uh, let's see, if I were to look at the current catalog, yeah, Squeeze the Day is in the catalog for this season. But a lot of times, you know, I think people tend to think lemon outside of like kitchen aromas and that kind of thing. You might think, oh, lemon is more summery, spring summery, kind of vibrant citrus scent. Um, I would do that, even though it is in the catalog, but there are other scents that are not in the catalog that would be considered more seasonal that I'm still going to do if that's what I feel like doing. But generally, I would say seasonal. Every now and then mood. All right, um, next question is, which is your favorite catalog season based on wax only? Okay, so not, and I say that because my favorite catalog season is spring summer. When I first started doing the wax, I would have answered fall winter. And I would have said I am a fall girl all the way. And it wasn't until, I don't know if it was the first spring summer after I became there's, I think it was the second spring summer after I became a consultant that I decided, nope, I am a spring summer girl. In fact, if I were to look at the wax that I currently own, I have more spring summer scents than I have fall winter scents. And I think some of that may come to come be because I live in Texas and summer style months are more predominant here than fall winter months. Um, I am doing pumpkin chai today, but the temperature here today is probably in the 80s. So I could easily be doing still spring summer. I just choose to try to get myself into the fall scents and do those because for me, like pumpkin and that, I will do up until maybe Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to use some of my fall scents before I feel like, nope, it's time to use more of the Christmas scents. And then, boom, it's it's all gone and I'm back to spring, summer again. So my favorite catalog season would be spring and summer. Um, but I would have normally have said fall, winter, mostly because I love the time of the holiday collection. I love all the warmers that come out and the scents that come out for Christmas time. So if it weren't for the wax portion of me saying I like the spring summer, I may have picked fall winter solely because of like harvest collection and holiday collection. So based on wax only, I'm gonna say spring summer. All right, the next question is, Favorite wax category. All right, so you know that in the categories we have spice, bakery, fresh, woods, fruity, citrus, and floral. Now, I brought my catalog for the current season and I brought the one from the spring summer because based on the catalog I'm looking at, will depend on which category I tell you is my favorite um, or possibly least favorite, which will be one of the other questions. So favorite wax category based on the um, fall winter catalog, I'm going to say that my favorite, oh, um, hmm, that's a tough one. I would almost have to say that my favorite category is probably spice, very, very closely followed by woods. And I say that because in woods is where usually the manly scents are, and I like wood scents. So I, I tend to wanna say that grouping because that's usually where my, some of my favorites are. Um, but I love the spice category 
partially because there's a lot more of them and there's a variety there's the pumpkin there's the apple there's you know the there's even like this catalog season they have spiced ember glow which i haven't tried yet but cold sniff i think it smells really good so because of that i tend to think that my favorite category for the fall winter is spice but followed very very closely by woods and if i were looking in the spring catalog i would tell you that my favorite category is actually fruity i love the fruity category um i don't find that in the fall catalog that it has you know as much of what i like it has a lot of things that i do like um but i think in the fall because of the season i think i'd pick spice in the spring summer favorite category would be fruity all right so the next question least favorite category all right so you probably would think that i'm going to tell you that my least favorite category is bakery and i say that because most of the time i tell you you know i love manly scents and wood scents and fruity and floral and you know that i i tend towards bakery the least um because my nose doesn't want to pick it up as much but in the fall catalog i would actually tell you that my least favorite category is floral probably because there's only one scent in there and it's luna and luna's not one of my favorites i think it's okay i mean i'm okay with luna but it's not a scent that i run to it's not a scent that i think oh i have to warm luna today um i haven't warmed it in a while and i miss it and no uh luna's a scent for me that I like it okay but there are so many other scents out there that it's not something that I tend towards so I would actually pick bakery before I would pick floral in the fall winter catalog in the spring catalog <sighs> that's a t that's a little bit tougher for me um hmm in the spring catalog I think I would actually pick again i want to say bakery i do but i think i would pick spice which is my favorite in the fall winter catalog but it's my probably my least favorite in the spring summer catalog and in i look at the catalog from the spring summer and spice had cinnamon vanilla which doesn't do anything for me and welcome home which i've actually just started to warm and to use and um it, it's a you know it's another one that you know kind of like what i said about luna it's it's a scent that i like i think it's enjoyable um but it it doesn't wow me it doesn't again it doesn't make me think oh i have to put that in and in the fall i mean in the spring summertime welcome home is not something i'm going to be reaching for so in the spring summer my least favorite is spice and in the fall winter my least favorite is floral so let's see all right the next question is the favorite scent in each category now for this one i'm gonna stick to just the current catalog because that, that would probably take too long we can always do this revisit this again in the spring summer and revisit those scents so I'm going to start from the spice category. My favorite scent in spice. Ooh. Um, I can see a lot of people saying cider mill. I do like cider mill. Um, but I think my favorite in the spice category is probably Homestead Holiday that is definitely if i'm if i'm faced with each of these bars in front of me and i haven't warmed any of them in a while and i think which one do i want to warm first or which one do i which one i'm more apt to want to warm i'm gonna say homestead holiday 
I love that scent. And it's probably one of the only ones that has blood orange that I think is really, really good. I do like Homestead Holiday. All right, from the bakery section, my favorite. Oh, gosh. Um, I think I, oh, wow. They did add uh, the brick from last year, which is a salted caramel toffee. Um, that's a tough one. For me, I think it would be a toss between apple butter frosting and salted caramel toffee. If they had brought back Stroopwafel Delight, that would have been hands down it. I, I would have said Stroopwafel Delight all the way. Um, but, uh, I, I kind of think apple butter frosting might edge out salted caramel toffee by just a tinge, just a tiny, tiny bit. From the fresh category, Okay, my favorite in the fresh category. Uh, mm, scent preferences change. They sure do. They really, really do. Uh, I think there's a time when I would have said that Amazon Rain is my favorite from the fresh category. I don't know that I can say that now. Uh... I think I'm going to go with vanilla mint. I love the mintiness of it. I like the vanilla. I really, really like that scent. Um, it probably would have fallen into the least favorite category if it hadn't been for the basically one scent that was available in floral because a lot of times some of the things in fresh don't really appeal to me. So, all right. So favorite, I guess I'm going to pick vanilla mint. In the woods category, Ooh, okay, that one gets a little tougher because now I get into ones that I really like. Um, hmm. Okay, and I'm not gonna pick based on when I would warm it because I think I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know. That's a tough one, that really is because I, I do love the woods section. And Blue Sage and Tonka and Cashmere and Corduroy are very new. Um, I haven't warmed it that much. I think they both needed to cure some more. So strength-wise, I didn't get enough from them to say it's going to be my favorite. I think I'm going to go with Very Snowy Spruce. I love that scent. I think it is beautiful. Um very closely followed by mystery man and around the campfire but i think i'm going to go with very snowy spruce for this time of the you know fall winter kind of time although i probably would mostly do it in december i'm going to go with that one as being my favorite fruity Ooh, love the fruity scents but i think i oh goodness hmm again I think there would have been a time when I would have told you that winterberry apple tea was my absolute favorite. Um, and it is a beautiful scent. It really, really is. But looking at the scent names, I think the one that I would be most excited about warming if I hadn't warmed in a long time and I'm like, okay, these are the ones, which one, which one do I want to warm given the conditions are just right for any of them? I'm going to go with Snowberry. I love Snowberry. I just think it's beautiful. I love the, for having strawberry and me being not that big of a strawberry person, it's just, I, maybe it's the Loganberry, which I have no idea what Loganberry is supposed to smell like, but I just think Snowberry is beautiful and I love it. Um, next category is Citrus. My favorite in, ooh, the Citrus. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Squeeze the Day. I think I'm gonna go with Squeeze the Day, although I think 
I like the way coconut lemongrass performs more. I think it's a great performer and it smells great. Um, but I think I like squeeze the day maybe just a little bit more, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Love sunkissed citrus, but I love it the most in laundry. Wish came back. And then, of course, floral, which I guess Luna would have to be my favorite since it's the only one in there. So that's my favorites from each of the categories. Then the next question is your least favorite um, scent in each category. So back to the beginning. And I think spice was the first one. Yes, spice was the first one. Okay, least favorite favorite all right don't like that one don't really like that one okay um i think i think i'm gonna go with my least favorite being dancing sugar plums the other one that i would have said is clove and cinnamon but i think I think clove and cinnamon I could mix with a softer bakery scent that doesn't perform well enough for me and I probably could get something much better. So I'm going to go with dancing sugar plums because plum for me doesn't always work. It's got to be just right and then I like it. So I did mix dancing sugar plums last year with, um, oh goodness, it was a mint scent that we had gotten in a brick do i have it i do let me see if i can grab it yeah i had mixed it with candy cane wishes and so i actually enjoyed dancing sugar plums mixed with candy cane wishes but by itself i don't like it so i think i'm gonna go with dancing sugar plums as my least favorite in bakery my least favorite. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I see it. <laughs> My least favorite in bakery is Vanilla Waves. I did not like that one at all. That was the one that I, th I said it was like you had your ice cream cone and somebody threw, because it has sea salt, somebody threw salt water on it and like, no. No, why'd you ruin my ice cream? Like, uh-uh, no. So I, I did not like Vanilla Waves at all. At all. Least favorite in fresh. Hmm. Oh, boy. Um. I think I'm going to go with By the Sea. I didn't like By the Sea. I don't like Arctic Kiss, but Arctic Kiss, if I do it on the landing, makes the foyer area smell good. Whereas Clean Breeze just doesn't work for me. Like, I I couldn't get that one to work. So mm, I'm going to go with Clean, uh, not Clean Breeze, sorry, By the Sea. That's the one I meant, By the Sea. Uh, clean Breeze is probably almost there, but I do like Clean Breeze in the laundry, so... Least favorite wax, though, in fresh, I'm going to go with by the sea. In the woods category. Oh, yep, see it right away. <laughs> My least favorite, and I say that this based on coal sniff only, because I smelled the wax, totally disliked it, and put the bar on the side to give to my sister, so I have not warmed it. Um, so... The caveat there is I don't know what it smells like warmed because I did not warm it, but I did not like on cold sniff weathered leather. As much as I love sheer leather, weathered leather was just not my thing on cold sniff. So I'm going with that one as my least favorite. In the fruity category, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to comment on the ones that I haven't tried. So like I did not try pomegranate prosecco yet, although I didn't like it on cold sniff. Um, I probably should have did the same thing with weathered leather, but I'd have a hard time after that telling you which one I don't like. So, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There's one. All right. So in fruity, my least favorite, black raspberry vanilla. 
I know that that is a popular one. It says bestseller and yeah, maybe it is, but it would not sell in my house. I do not like black raspberry vanilla at all. In the citrus category, my least favorite, I'm going to have to go with Blue Grotto because I love Squeeze the Day. I love coconut lemongrass and I, I love Sunkiss Citrus. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have to go with Blue Grotto. I, I don't think it's bad, but of the four that are there, it's my least favorite. And then for floral, I guess Luna wins most favorite and least favorite because it's the only one there. So, all right. So that takes care of my favorite categories and my favorite scents and least favorite scents for each category. My next question was your favorite LTO collection, your favorite limited time offer collection. There have been many over the years and some of you may name ones that I've never tried because they were available before I ever had Sensi on my radar. But if I were going to pick my favorite LTO, that is the Huga collection, which came out in like November, I think of 2018. And I am still waiting for that one to come back. Uh, the scents, some of them, I love. They were five in the collection and they were all wonderful 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 like i i still have several probably maybe eight bars of quiet clementine there was uh is it cozy kitchen i know patricia had to <laughs> correct me when i said something in a comment one time to her it i think it's cozy kitchen was the um that one i think i have like one bar of that one and i'm like i, I don't want to warm it yet i'm i don't want to be without it and i keep hoping it'll come back and bring back my bar so cozy kitchen quiet clementine woolly slippers um which i wasn't too sure about when it first came out um because it's kind of uh, a lavender kind of scent but it's done very very well and i really really like it and then there was Toasty Cabin, Quiet Clementine, Woolly Slippers, Toasty Cabin, which oh, that was probably the, the more manly of them all. Cozy Kitchen. I keep thinking there had to be been another one. I don't think it was four in the collection. I could have sworn there was five. But the fifth one is totally not on not on my brain i cannot think of it at all um patricia you probably know them well off the top of your head so if i missed one let me know quiet clementine toasty cabin woolly slippers cozy kitchen and I, I don't know um maybe there was four and i'm thinking there was five anyways that's the collection i really wish would come back i want the entire collection to come back i liked all of them okay favorite thing next question favorite thing about scentsy wax and i already alluded to it um i think many people might talk about longevity or throw or all that and all of that is important to me but my favorite thing is the ease of removal from your dishes it's, it's what drove me back from, from Walmart wax. It's what made me come back to Scentsy instead of saying, well, I'll just buy some Walmart wax because it's, you know, less expensive. I was like, no, the ease of, from which you can get the wax out of your dish was, was to me was worth the little extra bit of money that it cost to do Scentsy. I say a little bit, but you know. It could be a lot bit, I guess, you know, but if you're getting your own discount, that kind of plays into it also. So for me, that is what, that is my favorite thing about Scentsy Wax is the ease of removal of wax after it's hardened from a dish. It's just super easy. Uh, let's see. Least favorite thing about Scentsy Wax. And you know, I must have had a thought in my head when I wrote this question down. Least favorite thing about Scentsy Wax. Uh, 
I think I'd have to say availability and um, availability and variety. Yes, there are a bunch of scents. If I pull up the back here, there are a lot of scents. And yes, I can make my own combinations and stuff, but you know, you're not gonna like every scent in here. And yes, you have the club and you can get scents that way. But some of these, and I'm glad that they bring them back. I'm glad that Around the Campfire came back. I'm glad that Pumpkin Chai came back. I, I would be sad that it didn't. Um, but sometimes I just want a little more variety. Like the fact that if you don't have coffee tree in your club, there's no coffee scent. I want some more coffee scents. I'd like there to be more florals, even though it's the fall winter catalog. There's still people who love floral scents. I think there should be some more florals. Um, I, I, I'd almost, you know, I, cause the wax in general, I don't really have a complaint about. I think it performs well. I think it lasts um, a good, a long time. Yes, there are scents that don't throw all that well. Um, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that would kind of be part of my least favorite, but I think my least favorite would truly be availability and variety. I, 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 to me, that would have to be it. Um, seems kind of strange because I know there is a large variety, but when you already have or have already tried all the scents, sometimes you just want to try something new. So that would be the questions at the top that I had. And then I have um, the next little section that I wanted to go over, which is called some changes and or updates I would like to see. So I listed five and maybe we could each list five. If you can't come up with five, that's, that's fine. If you come up with more and you want to give more, that's fine too. I just thought I'd keep mine to five. So I'm going to list them here for you. So number one, a change and or update I would like to see. First one that I listed was I'd like to see bricks for regions two and three. I've watched some videos and I've had comments before where people in region two or three say we don't get bricks. And I'm like, what? What do you mean you don't get bricks? Like they need bricks. And I, I am 100% behind you. You need bricks. So I'd like to see bricks for region two and three. That's first and foremost on my list. All right, number two. I have, since we get different scents among the regions, right? Each region doesn't get the exact same scents. There's gonna be some differences in there. Um, I was referencing Bring Back My Bar. I would like to have where, you know, um, let's say, I don't know when the, I think the bricks are supposed to come out, in, I mean bricks, um, Bring Back My Bar, I think it's supposed to be in January. So let, let's just say it's January. I wanna see Region 1 have their Bring Back My Bar in January. I'd almost like it to last a little bit longer, but okay, one month, that's fine. But then I'd like to see, maybe in February or March, I'd like to see the Bring Back My Bars from Region 2 and 3. And then have Region 2 and 3 get the chance to do Region 1's Bring Back My Bar. They might, you know, and if if you have like the same scent, some of them the same, you can take those out. Just maybe give us the opportunity to try the ones that weren't repeats, right? Um, give us a chance to try some of the scents from the different regions. I think I think we'd all enjoy that. I know that. I think sometimes they may, you know, offer certain scents in the different regions based on what they think 
people in those regions like, like what they think the preferences are more there. But that doesn't mean that we don't have similar interest. Um, like we get, we get uh, last year, we got heavy pumpkin for the harvest. And I want to say region two and three got heavy apple for harvest. Well, I'm team apple. I would have liked to have gotten their bars. Um, and maybe they would have liked a chance to get our bars. So I'd like to see that happen. I'd like to see offerings f that are from other regions available in the other regions, right? So not just region one getting the opportunity to see region two and three, but region two and three also having the opportunity to get things from region one. I think that would be great. And again, you know, have a bring back my bar for your own region and then followed either the next month or the month after that with the bring back my bars from the other region. I think that would be fun. Um, my number three was a club exclusive of adding other regions wax to your club. Having, you know, um, when they do the... For instance, I talked about last year's harvest collection being a pumpkin heavy. Having in the club for region two and three, having those limited time offers available only in the club. Like you can't go on the website and purchase it, but you can put it in your club. It might be available under the promotions, right? Maybe even have a separate promotion, other region promotion. Um, and the same thing for region one, having the ability to maybe put region two and three's limited time offers or something into our club and try them that way. Number four, I have, I'd like to see them add oils in the same sense as wax. Um, again, today I did the pumpkin and this is only because I had this from last year. Uh, I did the pumpkin cinnamon latte while warming pumpkin chai. It'd be nice to have pumpkin chai in an oil. I, I could see, you know, if we have 80 cents in wax, they're not going to have 80 oils, right? But maybe some, maybe some of the best sellers. Um, I would have loved loved to have had of course they took sheer leather out and i don't know if it's coming back but i would absolutely have loved to have gotten sheer leather in an oil i tell you what that's one i would have stocked up on i would have probably bought three or four bottles of sheer leather in an oil because i love that scent and i would love it in an oil um it's to me it's so nice to be able to coordinate i try to coordinate my oils with the wax that i'm doing but sometimes i just can't find the right oil to go with the wax. So I'd like to see some of the oils, as many as they can, um, available in some of the wax scents. Um, even if it was just in the five milliliter bottles, right? Um, maybe some of the, maybe some of the best sellers in the full size bottles and some of the other ones in the five milliliter bottles, I don't know, some something or a tin with top three or top five of each category. Have a tin for fruity and have the top three fruities or top four, you could probably put four in here easily. Top four fruity scents in the oil. Another one for bakery with the top four bakery scents. Um, and so on, right? Floral, all of them. I, I would love to have coordinating oils to go with my wax. And then my last one, number five, probably the least likely to happen, but I would like to have the ability to create customs. Probably through, probably through the club. Um, and then I wrote next to it, no fancy labels. I mean, the labels are beautiful. They always all, you know, do such a nice job with the labels. I mean, here's that one from Candy Cane Wishes, such a pretty label. But obviously, if you created a custom, you you they can't sit there and make labels for all of the customs, but I'm like, you know what? I don't need that. 
however, whatever form you want to create the custom in, whether you um, do it in a clam or I don't know, some other form, whether it was, you know, like a mini loaf or whatever design you want to use, although I would tend to think clam would probably be the way to go, I wouldn't even need a fancy label. I, I don't care if it would just have a sticker across it with the name of, um, of the two cents, you know, or three cents, however many they would allow you to do. But let's say I, let's say I mixed, um, case in point, one of a uh, great blend that um, Lisa Roberry had come up with, the apple butter frosting with the churro churro. It would have been great to get that blended for you and say, you know, I'd like, um, let's say they did them in the clamshells. I'd like three bars. Um, I'd like three bars of apple butter frosting mixed with churro churro. And they could just put some label here that says apple butter frosting churro churro. I, I don't need anything fancy for that. But, you know, I, I love to play with the wax. I love to mix different scents together. And it would be great to be able to just get that blend as opposed to, uh, you know, I don't necessarily have a problem with getting apple butter frosting and churro churro or whatever, but I, if I know that I really, really like that blend together, I'd like to just buy that blend and get it that way. Um, so it would be great. I think it's one of the things that... It's one of the things that I enjoy about vendor wax, being able to create some of my own customs and of scents that I really like. And I've already got it. I don't have to like, you know, if I'm doing, let's say three different scents, I don't want to have to get three cubes in, in one warmer in, let's say three or four warmers in the room. I don't want to have to use that many cubes and I don't want to have to sit there and take one little cube and try to cut it into three or half or whatever. If it was already blended for me, it'd be ready to go and put in my warmers. And I personally would love, 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 love that. So between um, variety, creating customs, all those kinds of things, I would be tickled pink. So that's just tip of the iceberg, I guess. Um, although I, I covered a lot, there's obviously, we all have a gazillion thoughts about what we'd like to change, what we'd like to see added, what we like, what we don't like. That's just kind of a sampling of what I think and where I began and where I'm at now. So I hope that you will participate in the tag. I would love, love, love to see everyone else's videos of what they think, what they like, what they don't like. And um, absolutely, I would love to know, for those of you who don't do videos, because I know there's gonna be way more people who don't do videos than, than do videos. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know what is your favorite category? What is your least favorite category? What is your favorite, at least your favorite scent, even if you don't want to go through every single category, maybe you do. I'd love to know either way. And some of the changes and updates. Do you like the ones that I have? Do you have some other ones? You might have some way better ones. I'd love to know what you think. And um, I'm sure We'd all love to know. I mean, we're, we are a Sensi family and we are probably all wax addicts. <laughs> I would love to know what you think. And I hope that you will create a video if you have that opportunity and join in on the tag. So until next time, until I get a chance to hopefully see your thoughts or hear your thoughts, have a great day. Enjoy your sense. Enjoy your day and definitely enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.